Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today we're going to be diving into the holiday collection, the sculpture collection from Hourglass Cosmetics. I was able to pick up a few items from the new sculpture collection and I also picked up a blush that was released like a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago that I'd been eyeing this whole time and I thought, you know what, if I'm going to order something from Hourglass, that blush needs to be one of them. So I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I picked up um, last week. They just arrived in my stash yesterday yesterday and they're they're really nice these are some nice products but unfortunately they are expensive products so you guys know I'm gonna take you through all of the background information on each of the products I'm gonna demo it I'm gonna show you guys um, how they apply on my 38 year old normal to oily skin I'll do some swatches for you guys and of course I'm gonna do some dupes for you guys dupes that I was able to find in my beauty stash so if you guys want to see the new hourglass sculpture collection the holiday collection and a few other high-end luxury goodies keep on watching so for the last few years, Hourglass has been doing a holiday collection. And of course you guys know that holiday in the makeup industry starts in September. And Hourglass, usually around this time, they release a holiday collection. And it's usually a face palette, like a six pan face palette. And maybe it includes an other item, like maybe a smaller palette. Maybe it includes some lipsticks. This year, I was really pleased. I, I visually appealing to me um, the collection that they had, and I want to just let you guys know, I don't. I have Hourglass, and I do like Hourglass, but then there's some things that I don't like about Hourglass. So I'm not like a die-hard, ride-or-die Hourglass fan because not everything works for me. And I don't know if it's the texture that I have on my skin. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong, but I don't get the hype with some of their products and that's included in some of the ones that we're going to talk about today. This year they released two palettes and they're two face palettes. Um, the first one is the Sculpture palette which is a six pan palette. You do have some of the finishing powders. You have um, a couple blushes and a bronzer in there. I decided not to go for the Sculpture palette because I had some of those shades already in my collection. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's only two new shades to this um, Sculpture palette, the Six Pan palette. So that's why I just, I uh, wasn't too drawn to it. I thought, you know what, the one that was really catching my eye was the Mini Edit palette. And just to be clear, guys, these shades are not new, but some of them are not available right now um, for purchase. I know the shades that are in here. Let me show you this guy. This is a mini edit palette. Some of these shades were released a couple years ago, and I believe it was back in 2018. These four shades were released in the larger, the six pan palette. Um, and since then, I don't think you've been able to pick up any of these shades. So it's been two years, I guess, um, that these shades have been uh, released. I've never bought one of those six pan palettes. Um, I just, I don't know, for me, they're just really expensive. Um, I don't really use the finishing powders all that much. So I just kind of felt like maybe I wouldn't get enough wear out of it to justify the expense. Um, I want to say the bigger palette is $80. This mini edit unlocked palette retails for $58 and you do get four shades and of course a full size mirror. Beautiful, beautiful compact. And another reason why I thought, you know what, this is the palette for me. This is the year that I'm going to pick up an Hourglass holiday collection is because Hourglass is going to donate 5% of the sales from this palette only to Non-Human Rights Project. The Non-Human Rights Project is an animal activist group that helps to bring awareness to animal cruelty and helps stop the use of animals in product testing. So I think it's really great. And as you can see right here, you have the little rabbit logo um, on the Hourglass logo. So I thought that was really cute. And I just love when a brand can do something like that with their products, can give back 
to the community to create awareness and advocacy for projects that are close to them, that are close to their hearts. And anytime we can prevent against animal cruelty, guys, I'm all for it. Sign me up for that. Another item I picked up from the Sculpture Holiday Collection are the Refillable Lip Duo. This is the Hourglass Lipstick. I have the shades At Dusk and At Dawn, and I'm wearing At Dawn right now. At Dawn is described as a deep rose color, very neutral, very wearable, definitely gonna go with a lot of looks that you create. But I wanna show you guys, this is my first ever Hourglass lipstick purchase. So I wanna show you guys the actual component because that's really pretty. That is some nice packaging there. And then you pop this off. Here is the lipstick. So super thin. I like how narrow it is. Just really easy to maneuver, really easy to apply to the lips. And then this comes off. And how do we take this off? I don't know if it just... Let's see. I've never done this part before. But I'm pretty sure it just kind of... Yeah, it just pops off like that. And then you can... Let me show you the other one. So this is the shade at dusk. And this shade is described as a cranberry color. So then you can just pop... You take off this little part and they just pop off. Plug that in here, it snaps in, and you have another lipstick. I just love the packaging. Look at this point. Oof, really, really nice, really pretty. And then the last thing I was able to pick up was this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade at night. And this is that beautiful brick red shade that was recently released. I'd seen so many people try it just when the shade alone came out and I saw it on Instagram. I thought this is unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And guys, to be honest, this is the only product that I wasn't able to dupe. I wasn't able to find another shade in my stash that was similar to this, which is a good thing because that just goes to show I needed this blush. I did not have this shade in my stash. So let's go ahead and dive into the Sculpture Mini Edit Unlocked Face Palette. So in this palette, you do get four different shades. You have an all over face powder, you have a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And that was another reason why I decided to go for this palette because it just has one of each and that's all I need. I don't need to make things complicated. Sometimes you just don't need choices. You just need to grab something and go. And for me, this palette just checked off so many boxes. You have right here, this is the all over face powder. Um, this one is called the finishing powder in soft light. Over here, you have the bronzer, which is in the shade golden bronze light. Down here you have uh, the highlighter, which is the metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light. And then over here you have the blush in mood flush. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna go in with the bronzer first. So this is the shade Golden Bronze Light on my Fair to Light skin tone, and I think it's a great match. I think it's really, really pretty. It blends out so well, and to be honest, guys, Hourglass makes some amazing bronzers. I have this other one. I have this one in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. This one definitely does give more of a luminosity to it, and you do see I buy the minis. I buy the minis because I'm never gonna finish anything and I'm glad that the pan sizes in here, they're the exact same size as the minis. So just FYI on that. But um, this is also a very pretty bronzer, very similar to the one that I have uh, here on my face. This one I think is a little bit darker. Let me go ahead and try this one just so that you guys can see um, what it's gonna look like compared to it. Let me put it on my the other side. This one definitely does give more of a luminosity. So this is the side that has the bronzer that's in the mini edit, the sculpture mini edit palette. And then this is the one that I already had in my stash. And this one is in the shade um, Luminous Bronze Light. And this one is Gold Bronze Light. Now let's go ahead and try the blush. 
This blush has some really nice pigmentation to it and it has a nice soft, not intense, like very soft sheen to it. Now I want to show you guys one of the blush shades that's in the Sculpture palette, the larger palette, and it is the shade Mood Exposure, and I have it in mini form. So I'm going to apply that to the left side of my face so you guys can see how it looks compared to the one that's in this mini edit palette. This one is definitely a softer wash of color. And I want to say it has more of a plum shade, while the one on this side has more of like a pinkish mauve shade. I think it, this one has more of a sheen than the first one did. So this is Mood Exposure. This one is in the larger palette. And then this is the one from the mini edit. And this one, what shade was this one again? This one is shade Mood Flush. So now that I have the bronzer and blush on, I want to go in with the finishing powder. And again, this is the shade Soft Light. And sweep over the face. This just kind of helps to blend everything together. Kind of diffuses the harsh lines if there's some. And it's kind of like just adding a filter to your face. And <laughs> who doesn't want that, right? I have a love-hate relationship with these powders as well. Sometimes I feel they can make my makeup look a little bit cakey, especially like right in here. That's why I don't always reach for it. Now, one of the shades that's in the larger palette is the Dim Light, and it's this one right here. Now, this one is, and let me put these side by side so you can see, do it this way. You can see that this one is definitely darker than the one that's in this palette, the mini palette. And so maybe that's why I'm liking the shade in here better. But this one is in the bigger sculpture palette. Sometimes I feel this one just kind of like makes my makeup look cakey. Okay, so those are both of the finishing powders. I know you can't really tell like a big difference. Um, I think it's mainly if you're up close looking at it, looking at yourself in the mirror. But here on camera, I don't really think you can see a huge effect. Definitely in person, you can notice a bit of a blurring effect. Now, it's just all going to determine on finding the shade that works best for you. I think that the shade in here, which is the shade um, Soft Light, I think that this one works better than the shade Dim Light personally on my skin tone, as does um, the new Infinity Powder. I like that one, although that one does have a little bit more sheen to it, more shimmer to it. And guys, the powder in here, it's not, it's not like you're applying highlighter to your face. It's not doing anything like that. It's just blurring. So sometimes when we apply a blurring powder, it also causes like maybe a light sheen effect, but it's nothing that's going to make you look oily or make you look greasy or anything like that. And I have normal to oily skin. So the last thing I want is to add more oil to my skin or make my skin look oilier than it already is. So um, these powders don't do that. They are a nice like finishing powder, a nice little blurring powder, so to speak. So the last shade that we have to try is going to be the um, um, metallic strobe powder in the shade Champagne Strobe Light. So you can see it's not really a blinding highlight. It's not like an in-your-face highlight. It's just, just a beautiful like lit from within highlight. And I think more people are interested in highlighters like that. More people feel comfortable wearing a highlighter like that versus like a blinding highlight. Although I love me a, a good blinding highlight. But I think, you know, for more everyday wear, where to work type of thing, this might be something um, that's more your speed. So I really like that. What I do notice though, guys, from um, applying the um, the finishing powder is I feel like it kind of took some of the color away from the bronzer and blush. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm gonna add a little bit more blush to it. And as I was playing around with this yesterday, I kind of noticed that as well. 
And then I'm noticing it again today, so. So now we've used all four of the shades in the Sculpture Mini Edit Unlocked palette. Um, I loved them. I thought they all applied really, really well. I guess if um, I had to pick a shade that I could live without, it would be the finishing powder. For me, it's just they're hit or miss for me, and they don't always work for me. So, um, But I love the blush. I love the bronzer, the highlighter. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And what I forgot to try, guys, is the At Night Blush. This is that brick red blush. Let me go ahead and just add a little pop of this. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. This blush, it's definitely unique. And I didn't have a shade like this in my collection. So far, I'm good with the palette. I'm happy that I bought the palette. It's going to definitely be something that I'm going to reach for. It's going to be definitely something that I wear. Um, the blush gorgeous. This uh, at night blush is a beautiful, beautiful shade. If you're a fair complexion like me, go in light handed. As you saw, I didn't need a lot to achieve um, a nice bright look. And I love that it's a red tone blush. That's something that's really different and really great for the holidays. Now let's dive into the lipsticks. So I already showed you how to maneuver the component, but I do want to show you the second shade. So again, the shade I'm wearing right now is at dawn. This is a more neutral shade of the two. And then this other one I'm going to apply is um, called at dusk. And this is going to be more of like a cranberry shade. That is a beautiful, beautiful red shade really nice feels really nice on the lips and i just love how it applied I, I love this whole like thin applicator right here it just makes getting right up here like in the cupid's bow area really really easy really simple and sometimes i don't always use a lip liner obviously i didn't use one today so it was really easy to kind of just not overdraw my lips just get them to look full but not you know overdone so i think the shade is really really pretty again really nice for the holidays i love it i i'm i'm happy with i think it's different it's like a unique component um it's also like you're recycling you don't have to keep buying this big component you can just keep refilling it with um the smaller lipstick so i think that's a great idea the packaging is just really pretty like this point ooh, it's like a stiletto there So now that we've demoed everything, I've tried everything for you guys on camera, let me give you guys some dupes, some alternatives for these products. So let's do the At Dusk shade first. Let me just put a little bit here. So I found a similar shade and kind of similar packaging in Makeup Revolution, and this is the Vamped Lipstick. I love that little gold leopard packaging. So same thing on trend with the gold, the shiny gold. And then this is the shade Vamped. And you can see that there. Hourglass on the bottom. Makeup Revolution on top. So this little Makeup Revolution lipstick retails for like $8 or $10. Now, if you were going to buy just the refill component alone, which I don't know that you can get these shades um, individually. They did come in a set and they might just be sold that way. The set for what I picked up retail for $48. Now, these refillables alone are $22. So it's significantly more than the Makeup Revolution lipstick. So just something to think about there. There. Now next I'm going to do the shade at dawn and I think I found a good alternative in wet n wild. The hourglass shade is this one right here and then you have the wet n wild shade next to it. The wet n wild shade is close off and this is one of my favorite shades in wet n wild lipstick. And this is the high shine formula. The wet n wild lipstick is like three dollars so 
definitely can't go wrong with that one. Now let's dive into this palette because I definitely have some dupes, some alternatives to share with you. And the first thing I want to talk about is the finishing powder. So again, this is just a very light all over face powder that you're going to use to kind of buff everything together, blur any harsh lines, and just create a smooth, flawless makeup look. Now, if you have the Milani, this is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Translucent Setting Powder, then you definitely have something that is very similar to the Hourglass um, Finishing Powders. This does give a nice, soft luminosity to the skin. I just applied some there on the back of my hand. It's really hard to see, but you can kind of see there is a soft blurring effect there. Let me go ahead and swatch the one that's in here. You're going to see they're just about identical. And I've loved this Milani powder for a long time. It doesn't really cause me to get cakiness. This is the hourglass over here, which I know it's hard to see. Um, and then you have the Milani right here. But they essentially do... The same thing and I believe the Milani powder is no more than ten dollars so um, definitely something to consider this is my dupe for it as is the elf halo glow this is a loose component though um, so this powder does the same thing it's supposed to provide that soft blurring effect this one does have a little bit more not pigmentation, a little bit more of a glow to it, I guess. So this would kind of be maybe more along the lines, and it's right here. Maybe a nice dupe option for the Infinity Powder. Let me put this Infinity Powder up here. The Infinity Powder right here, and I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely has more shimmer than all of the other ones. So you have the e.l.f. down here, and then you have the um, Infinity Powder over here from Hourglass. And this little halo powder, I believe it's around $8. I'm going to have, guys, I, I know I'm saying I think it's around, I think it's around just because I don't have the prices in front of me, but I'm going to be leaving everything in the description box linked. That way you guys can check them out and you know the exact prices of each. Let's move on to the bronzer right here. I have a good one for this bronzer. Um, this is the Golden Bronze Light. So for the bronzer, I found that these two from the drugstore were really good alternatives. This is the L'Oreal Beach Please Bronzer. This is the Latera Bronzer. And as you can see, it does have a soft shimmer effect and I love those palm leaves on there but this is one of my favorite bronzers I've always liked working with this one and then the other one is the Milani which is also a baked formula like the hourglass is um, this is the Soleil baked bronzer and as you can see it definitely has that um, shimmer effect that you have in the hourglass so let me go ahead, I did swatch these outdoors, so let me go ahead and insert that swatch photo now so that you can draw your own comparisons. Now let's talk about the blush. The blush is the Mood Flush blush and I have two that would be nice alternatives and one is from e.l.f. and one is from Essence. This one I've had in my collection for so long and it's actually the lid is broken but this is the um, Satin uh, Touch Blush and this one is in the shade Satin Love. And then I also have the e.l.f. This is one of the mini bite-sized face duos that just came out a couple months ago and this one is in the shade Lychee. So let me go ahead and insert some swatch photos of those so you can see what they're going to look like. I also want to give a mention, and I don't think I did a swatch comparison of this, but this is the Milani um, Flower of Love uh, Rose Palette. This is all three different blush shades, and I find that if you mix them together, you can get a very, if not spot on shade for the blush that is in the Hourglass palette. And especially if you're using this little blush at the end, it could kind of mimic 
the um, finishing powder that is in the Hourglass palette. So that's just something to think about. I believe you can still find this little palette. It did come out some time ago, um, but at Ulta. I believe Ulta has it in stock on their website. Now for the highlighter, I have a lot of gold based highlighters, but what I noticed in going through my stash is I have a lot of gold highlighters that have like maybe a silvery undertone to it or like a platinum undertone to it. So this was kind of hard to dupe. This um, metallic strobe powder, champagne strobe um, light. So what I found was really close was another Wet n Wild product and this is the blush lighter and this is the Hello Halo blush lighter. This one is in the shade After Sex Glow and of course I'm referring to the highlighter shade that's right here. Let me go ahead and insert that swatch photo so that you can see what they're going to look like. Now, another thing that I want to mention that you might already have in your stash is from Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, and this is the Shimmer Brick Compact in the shade Bronze. Those shades and those tones in there, you have a highlighter shade, and then you have just a lot of deeper, like from light to deep shades that could be a bronzer, blush, um, just really all over face powder, all over warmth. So if you already have this Bobbi Brown um, Face Brick or Shimmer Brick, then you have a lot of these shades already. You don't necessarily need to get this Hourglass um, Mini Edit Unlocked palette. And I think that that completes my dupes. I think that completes today's video over um, these new Hourglass products. Guys, I'm happy with it. Those are my thoughts on it. I think it's a really pretty collection. If you can afford to get some pieces, I don't think you'll regret it. I think it's a good investment. And you know what? You deserve it. We, we all work hard. Um, it's been a very difficult year for a lot of us. And if you're able to treat yourself, go for it. You're gonna like these products. They do perform really really well. So guys, what were your thoughts? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this um, new sculpture holiday collection from Hourglass. Is it on your list? Maybe it's on your Christmas list. Um, make sure that whoever's going to be buying it for you, they get it soon because once these are gone, they are gone. They don't come back in stock. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.